gang violence and other kind of violence. What's good, YouTube? It's the Black Gen Z Mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. And let's get into the video. More violence hit our young people overnight. Police say two children, only 12 and 14 years old, got shot in Northeast Houston. Officers believe there was some kind of fight between them and people in a car on Rand Street near Lockwood. And guys, we're back in Houston where the community and the communitino is on fire. Okay, you got teens getting shot in the street, right? Shot on the block, shot outside the um, housing complex or whatever you want to call it. And it's just a disgrace at this point. Which led to the shooting just after 10 p.m. Police are working to find out what exactly led up to the shooting. Thankfully, both kids are expected to survive. Now to that breaking news. Two kids were shot in a drive by and Houston police are looking for the shooters. This happened off of Rand Street just after 10 last night. HPD says the shooters were in a black four door sedan with tinted windows. A 12 year old boy was shot in the arm. A 14 year old boy shot in the leg. Mm. Doctors tell police both will physically recover. Well, tonight our District 1 North Patrol was dispatched to the 1200 uh, 12,800 block of North Houston Roslyn in reference to a shooting. Upon arrival, uh, deputies found one male with multiple shots uh, in a field. It's a construction site across Damn. the street from a tire shop, a 24-hour tire shop located at the 12,800 block of uh, North Houston Roslyn. Uh, we have our violent crimes that's out here investigating and our CSU is en route out here. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of details right now. Uh, we just know that one male was shot multiple times and transported to uh, the hospital. Dang. Um, and we've seen a lot of these shootings at, at these construction sites. Um, we've seen folks jacking the construction sites and all types of stuff. Um, so it's really not surprising, you know, you, you kind of try and draw up reasons why this happens. And that's all that we're doing here on this channel. You know, I'm just looking at these scenarios and, you know, trying to fathom how this actually occurred. And he's undergoing treatment and has life threatening injuries. We have uh, several detained that were inside the tire shop uh, and we're in the preliminary stages of our investigation. A school senior killed in a shooting earlier this year was honored today by her classmates. She received her diploma at what would have been her graduation. ABC 13 reporter Daniela Hurtado joins us live from Energy Institute High School with her story. Tom, 18 year old Naraya Champion was shot and killed by a 17 year old who was playing with a loaded handgun back in April. Mm. She never got to go to prom, to graduate high school, or to become the attorney she dreamt of. Her mother today walked across the stage with the class of 2022. Naraya Nicole Champion. Keisha Shields accepted her daughter Naraya's diploma. Wow, man. You have the mother accepting the diploma because the daughter was killed. It's crazy out here. Um, this shouldn't be a thing. And I know they tried to make it, you know, uh, a, a ceremony. They tried to give a moment to this woman because she's going through a lot right now, but shouldn't even be a thing. Shouldn't even happen. A bittersweet moment for this family. My baby would have graduated today, but um, it was also sad is because I had to 
get her a diploma. 17 year old Sakarian Batiste is charged with manslaughter, accused of shooting and killing Naraya while playing with a loaded gun the morning of April 23rd. And her not being here with me is really hurting me. A day that should have been filled with so much promise for the future for Latrice Canari and her best friend, Naraya, <laughs> was filled instead with warm embraces between Latrice and Naraya's mom, Keisha, as they remembered her. It was Naraya up there. She, was, she walked that stage today and she got that diploma. <laughs> And that's how others perceived it too. A standing ovation for their classmate who never made it to graduation. I'm happy she gave me what I always asked her. I want my diploma. Sunday afternoon, that was made a reality as a cap and gown was symbolically draped over a chair that should have been hers. Naraya's name will live on. In Houston, Daniela Hurtado, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. I'm here on the corner of MLK and Frederick Douglass, where a shooting just took place. And as you can see, it's a pretty rough area. So I'm basically risking my life reporting on this madness. So make sure you do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Like the video, hell, share the video. And make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section to continue the discussion on how we can find solutions to all this sun violence in the streets. I'm Jen Quavius Jackson, here live, reporting from Atlanta, Georgia, BGZM News 17. We start tonight with a Fox 26 exclusive, a YouTuber who rapped Chico. about robbing banks, now arrested, accused of robbing one. And this story just makes you shake your head. Wow. Four people from Houston are in jail in Tennessee, accused of robbing an ATM technician at gunpoint. And Fox 26's Matthew Seedorf sharing this story for us tonight. It's one you'll see only here on Fox. And Matthew, we know one of the guys raps about robbing ATMs. Crazy. That's right, Jonathan. Just bizarre. He has a video on YouTube with a song called Make It Home, where he raps about robbing banks outside of the state and getting back to Houston. But this time, police stop him before he gets back here. Hmm. In a now ironic YouTube music video, rapper 213 Jug God can be seen with a gun on his waist. We can't let you lose control. Oh. Rapping about. Wow. And Jay-Z and Meek Mill and Fat Joe and all his other rap buddies want to make it so that you can't use um, these Super Gremlins rap lyrics in the court of law. <laughs> it makes no sense. Robbing banks out of state, praying he makes it home. Damn, what's taking what's long? Taking on long? Tuesday, the rapper, along with these three others from Houston, were arrested out of state near Nashville, Tennessee, accused of robbing an ATM technician at gunpoint. If you're going to rap about it and then turn around and be about it and you get caught, that's on you. You shouldn't do stupid crap. And you definitely shouldn't violate the law and talk about it. Police yep. I mean... <laughs> At least if you're going to do the dirt, don't talk about it, bro. This man got it on tracks. I'm looking at his YouTube right now. Talking about some Jug God. He got all this cash. You know, they can scan those um, serial numbers too. So these dudes are really just telling on themselves, man. So, I mean, they getting whatever comes. Police found these stacks of cash with Darius Dugas, Sassandre Dugas, Christopher Alton, and with Dijon Riley, also known as 213 Jug God. Oh, I'm looking now. He got a super gremlin freestyle. I definitely want to see what that talking about. So um, I might leave that link in the description box because he's definitely a super gremlin on demon time. <laughs> The rap name possibly in reference to jugging when burglars follow unsuspecting people home from banks or malls to my man said jugging is is, is jugging bro is jugging steal they want to glorify the fact that they're criminals and that saddens me because we have all these kids watching this and they're glorifying it and these kids look up to them it's dumb these guys are dumb they deserve to be tossed under the jail just for being dumb facts i like how he said it but they might try to paint that as, you know, racially charged. 
I'm just telling you what they gonna think. Uh uh-uh, uh, my baby ain't done. Look, <laughs> my man straight rapped about everything that he did, bar for bar, and he named the song Make It Home. I think it's safe to say that he's found a new home. Online, criminal records revealed Darius Dugas and Wudijan Riley were out of jail on felony bonds, both arrested several times before. Convicted felons doing their music videos with guns. How dumb is that? That right there is enough to get them charged again if, if they do something like that. Getting this money, we just praying that we make it home. The Make It Home music video now gaining views. I ain't gonna lie, the video is hard. But as you can see, he got the strap with the extendo, pants sagging, and the fake um, Fendi belt or Ferragamo, whichever one, with the tag still hanging off the jeans. Let's go. After the arrest. We just praying that we make it home. One person commenting, looks like you didn't make it home. These four people from Houston now face federal charges. I'm told the FBI is now investigating to see if they've committed similar robberies before. We're live in Houston tonight. Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26 News. So guys, you know I love going to these um, these guys' IGs and seeing what they up to, man. Uh, obviously, this is the guy who was robbing the ATMs. And most likely, he is going to get out. Um eventually i think the feds picked it up so he probably gonna do some time maybe like five to ten uh but who knows you know they're the, the way they doing the laws right now you never know but if it was a state thing i guarantee he would he would have been let out um but here he goes he's flexing you know <laughs> playing with the the seals and all types of stuff, you know, traveling, making it look good, making it look nice, didn't wear swim trunks on the boat, <laughs> so he definitely wasn't getting in the water, could he or could he not swim, who knows, Um, but yeah, I mean, he, he didn't make it home, man, he was doing all this flexing, the money wasn't legit. Stealing it from ATMs and, you know, icing out Rolexes, which devalues the watch. But hey, go off. And it caught up to him. Rapping about it in the studio, put himself on blast, and self-snitched. These super rapping gremlins are on demon time.